welcome to the garden. This is my best attempt at a lens made out of ice. So I got this really nice clear ice with a really, you know, three or four inches thick of nice clear ice by freezing regular tap water in an insulated bucket. So it's open to the air so that it'll freeze from the top down and I've insulated the sides and the bottom. It's sitting on a few t-shirts and then I've got this fleece wrapped around it so that it only freezes from the top down. That way you get really clear water, it pushes the impurities down and then you want to stop it before it freezes all the way. And I've just poured this out bring it inside for a couple minutes to thaw and it should release pretty easily but you can see even with that insulation I've still got walls of ice forming and there was a little bit at the bottom too but we got a really nice clear ingot of ice to work with and the idea is we're going to carve this into a convex lens like this hand lens that way the entire surface will focus its light down into a cone that can then be concentrated into a really fine beam like you see on this hand lens here so that's the idea now I'm just going to start carving a little bit first with our saw and then we'll be using a little bit of warm water in our bare hands to finish off the convex shape. So I've got most of the rough cutting done. So let's give you a look at a profile see the raised dome part. I'm just going to do a little bit of fine tuning and then we'll start working with our hands and some warm water. I'm going to start with just a little bit of water. Oh great, our, our thing froze. <laughs> there we go. There, wow. <laughs> Did you see how clear that got? Holy cow. Look at the clarity on this. This is absolutely beautiful. This is definitely the clearest lens I've ever made. And it's about time too, because this is my seventh or eighth try, I think. All the lenses I've made before ended up trapping too many air bubbles. And they were just a little too cloudy to function as a proper lens. So I use them as windows and blocks for carving but wow as we wash away those cut marks <laughs> it just became a beautiful beautiful clear piece now I'm going to be careful not to scratch it too much because I've got some scratches here on our flat side that I don't want to come back geez look at that that's amazing. Let's see if it's clear enough to focus light. I can see a little bit of focusing going on. There we go. Hey, look at that. See how it gets brighter and more concentrated? Now, I don't know if that's going to be enough. It's really not enough to start a fire, I don't think. But maybe with a little more work, I can clean up some of the impurities. So I've increased the pitch of our dome and I've removed a little bit off the bottom just to hopefully increase that clarity and increase the amplification. So I'm just gonna now rinse the heck out of it until we get rid of our cut lines. 
on both sides. And man, this was tricky to work with. It was so slippery. It kept sliding around. I couldn't quite get the saw to, to cut while it was sliding around. But finally got it. Man, this thing is slippery. Uh, it's still a little cloudy on the bottom. So I ended up removing about a centimeter off of our flat surface just to hopefully get rid of some of those impurities that have collected on the surface. Now I'm just going to repolish it up with a little bit of water just to clarify everything. So there are parts that are insanely clear in the center and then these white streaks is what I was trying to remove. So maybe that's enough to get our lens to focus. So I'm gonna get my gloves on because it is freezing cold out here. And we'll see what we can get. So, I'm trying to hold it without blocking too much light. So here's our light beam. It does focus down pretty bright. It's not exactly the beam I was hoping for though. But nonetheless, this is the best one I've gotten so far. I think it's as clear as I'm gonna get. But not bad. I think it turned out okay. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick ice lens experiment and I hope to see you next time.